Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of my JavaScript tutorial. In this episode, I'm going to discuss the let keyword in detail. So, the let keyword was introduced in 2015 in ES6. ES6 stands for ECMAScript and ECMAScript is the official name for JavaScript. Uh, so yeah, variables declared with let have something called a block scope. And variables declared with let must be declared before used and they cannot be redeclared in the same scope. I'm gonna give you some examples about this. First, let's talk about the block scope. So the block scope is basically this. We add curly brackets and then I'm gonna say let x equal 25. Now we have a block scope over here. If I attempt to use this x variable outside of the scope, of these brackets right over here. I'm gonna type document dot get element by ID example inner HTML equals X. That's not gonna do anything. And I'm gonna show you what happened. So we will go and inspect, go to console and we have an uncaught reference error. X is not defined. Now, why is this happening? It's happening because these variables are in a different scope. However, if I move this line over here, it is going to work. We don't have an issue anymore. The variable x, which is 25, is now showing up on the web page. So this is a block scope. And yeah, it's very useful because in a large program we have very many variables and other values and with this we will avoid naming conflicts. Also the block scope is created when I make a function. For example like this, here is a block scope. Also, it works with if statements, all these kinds of different things that we haven't discussed yet. All of these create a block scope inside of these curly brackets. All right. So, yeah, now you know what is the block scope and why it's so useful. Then I'm gonna show you the global scope. So let's declare a value of y to be 50. And let's get document element by ID example 2 and change the inner HTML to be equal to the variable y. So this works like this. However, if I create a block scope and then try to do the same thing, it will also work because global scoped variables can be accessed from inside of a block. So yeah, this code is inside of a block scope, but it can still access global variables like this because it's not inside of any curly brackets. However, it doesn't work the same way around. If I try to access a block scoped variable from the global scope, that's not going to work. So, if these were, were the other way around, let y equals 50, then I'm gonna cut that, remove this, and there we go, and here we go. This is not going to work. But the other way around, it does. Like this. So yeah, that's what the block scope 
and the global scope mean. Now the reason why I told that we are using let and const to create variables nowadays is because the var keyword it does not follow the block scope or the global scope uh, rules. So if I was to use var instead of let, uh, basically these brackets, the block scopes, they wouldn't make any difference. So var works. So for example, I have a block scope uh, right over here. I'm gonna use this, I'm gonna create var x equals 25 and var does not follow the block slash global scope of variables. So I can type in document dot get element by ID example change the inner HTML to be equal to X and it will still work. However, if this is let, it will not work. So yeah, this is why we use uh, the let instead of var because in a large program there will most likely be some naming conflicts if we don't have the block scopes. So yeah, we can use the variable of the same name when they are in different scopes. For example, here I can declare x to be equal to 25. And I'm gonna remove that. So yeah, this is the global scope that works. I can also cut it inside of here, that works. But if I cut this line out over here, it doesn't. But with var, it does. But yeah, we use let because that allows us to avoid naming conflicts. So yeah, this is something to keep in mind. So, with the var keyword, the variables have always a global scope and they cannot have a block scope. Alright, then let's go to let. I'm gonna remove all of this for now. Let's make a let x equals tozu, for example. I can use double quotes or single quotes. This is a string. And we cannot do this, let x equals zero. That's going to be an error. As you can see, we have an uncaught syntax error. Identifier x has already been declared. We cannot use it here and then use it straight afterwards. However, if we use var, this is completely legal, so we can take document, get element by ID, and change the inner HTML to be equal to X. So with var, this is completely legal, but I don't. We uh, the var keyword is not suggested to be used anymore. So yeah, variables with var can be redeclared like this, uh, but variables with let cannot be redeclared like this. This is not allowed. But however, we can redeclare the variable, which is a whole nother topic. So we will say x equals zero. This is completely legal. So basically these two lines of code do the same outcome as var x equals tozu and var x equals zero. So yeah, this is the old way. Alright, so there we go.
So this is the modern way of creating and redeclaring variables. This is the old way. So yeah, that's why we use let and const. Okay, I'm gonna remove these for now. Then I'm gonna give you an example. A variable e, variable x equals five, and here x is five. Then I'm gonna make a block scope and var x equals two, and here x is two. And now that even though we have the block scope the x will be 2 in here as well. So we first declare var equals 5, the global scope is 5, but because the var keyword does not have the block scope, this will reassign the variable to the block scope as well, and the outcome is 2. However, if we use let, then because this line of code is inside of the global scope, we will use this variable. However, if I write here document.get element by ID, I'm going to take the example 2, change the inner HTML to be equal to x. Uh, I have my paragraphs here with the IDs of example, example 2, example 3. So if I do this, uh, basically, how this works is that the first value, let x, right over here, it comes from the global scope. Then the second, second one, it comes from this block scope right over here. So, yeah. The let keyword is highly suggested to be used. Alright. So, the let and const keywords are not supported in Internet Explorer 11 or earlier, but pretty much anything uh, released after 2015, any browser supports the let and const keywords. So yeah, the redeclaration of a JavaScript variable with var is allowed anywhere in the program, but with let we have to make sure that the uh, scope is the same. So redeclaring a variable created with the let keyword in the same block is not allowed. So yeah, I'm gonna give you an example. Well, I already kind of did, but let's go over another one. So, we can create var. Uh, I'm gonna remove these lines. We can create var x equals uh, 25, then let x equals 25. This is not allowed. This is okay. Alright? Then, if we use a block scope, we can create uh, let x equals 25 and let x equals 25. This, this is okay and this is not allowed. And then we can create a block scope with let x equal 25. This is okay and var x equals 23 for example this is not allowed. So yeah, there's a little bit more about the var and let and the differences of them and actually these should be different numbers. Okay, and by the way, let's actually take the document, get element by the example inner html equals x yeah it won't use neither one of these what if i remove this yep so it will not take neither one of these because it cannot basically decide which one to use if i remove this it's gonna take 25 or if i remove this it's gonna take 23 
but let's stick with the uh, let keyword. All right. Then I'm gonna show you something. So this is allowed that I can create a block scope. We can also say let x equal three. This is also allowed. And we can do another block scope where x will be four. And this is allowed. However, we can only access these variables from inside of these uh, these block scopes. So yeah, that's the main difference. So if I want to do something with this variable x equals three, I gotta do it inside of this scope. The same goes for this. Then I'm going to talk about hoisting. So variables defined with var are hoisted to the top and can be initialized at any time. So we can use the variable before it is declared. For example, we can say that uh, my car is equal to a Volvo. And then we can set the variable my car. So now the variable my car is equal to Volvo. Uh, there we go. This works, but it's not too, I mean, it's not recommended. So the variables are kind of hoisted to the top so I can do this at any part of the program and this at any part. However, if I was to use let, it wouldn't work. With let we can do first the declaration like let my car and then my car equals Volvo. This is allowed, and this is the modern way. Alright, we are gonna be talking about hoisting in JavaScript later on, but for now this is enough, and yeah. So basically if I did this and changed the var to be let, that would result in, an ref in a reference error in the program so that wouldn't work so instead what you should do is this like so also this is not allowed you get a first declare the variable created with let like this it only works uh, this way around however with var you can do it uh, the other way around as well but, yeah, the var variable creating way is not uh, recommended anymore, so you should use the let and const keywords. Anyways, that's gonna be it for this episode. I went a little bit more into detail about the let keyword in JavaScript, and uh, yeah. I hope you learned something new, I hope I'm gonna see you in the next episode, and happy learning everyone, and have a wonderful day, bye bye!